استاذ دكتور هنزيل Yes, Dr. Tanzil, we can start, please. Okay, um, hello, uh, good morning. Good morning. Um, I'm Dr. Bukhari, and I am one of the doctors in the clinic today. You must be Mrs. Yes, Ms. Suzanne, Dr. 20 years of age. Yes, Dr. I am Suzanne. Uh, nice to meet you, Mrs. Suzanne. Thank you, Dr. Thank you. Uh, Mr. Suzanne, today we are here to discuss something about your current health condition and our future management plan about that. Is that fine? Yes, Doctor, please. Uh, will you mind if I take some notes in between? Yeah, please don't. Thank you. Okay. So, um, I have uh, come to know that you have some weakness uh, in your arm. Is it so? Yes, Doctor. Really, actually, I developed sudden weakness affect my left arm. I found it difficult to move it. I'm so sorry you know this, Mr. Suzan, but uh, don't worry, we are here to help you out today. Thank you, Doctor. Thank you. May I know at which time you develop this weakness? Uh, today morning, about one hour before. And what were you exactly doing at that time? I was, Doctor, I was uh, at hairdresser in preparation for my sister's wedding day. And how it started suddenly or gradually? Really, Doctor, it comes suddenly. And uh, do you still feel weakness? No, no, doctor. Fortunately, it improved. It lasts only yeah. about five minutes and then improved. It was on the left side? What about the right one? No, do, not affected, okay. doctor. Only left side. Any weakness anywhere else? What, doctor? Any weakness anywhere else? Yes, doctor. Also, I felt my, uh, I felt my leg also on the same side, also weak. I tried to stand, but I fell. What about the right leg? No, no, doctor. Only left side. Uh, do you remember anything that provoked it, that made, made that make it worse? No, doctor. Really, it comes suddenly and improve uh, within five to fifteen minutes, like this. Anything that make, made it better, or it became automatically better? It it uh, it improved uh, spontaneously without anything, doctor. And you and uh, has it happened before? No, no, no. This first time right. I have this uh, weakness. Right, Mrs. Uh, Suzanne. Um, how much time you felt weakness? Really, Doctor, I cannot remember well, but less than 15 minutes. Less than 15 Any headache at that time? Really, Doctor, I, yesterday I was tired. I didn't sleep well last night. So I feel this morning, the morning when I awake, I feel headache. Uh, two, two hours before to develop this weakness. Uh, did, uh, how, where was affected the headache? Actually, to the right side of my head. And uh, uh, it was, uh, if, if I ask you to grade it from 1 to 10, 1 being the mild and 10 being the severe, how much will you grade it? Yes, doctor, it was severe, about 7. And how it sound to you, like throbbing, tapping, pinching? Yeah, yes, yes, doctor, like, like the pulse, yes, throbbing. And um, was it the most severe headache you ever had? Yes, doctor, it's severe headache, yes, really. And uh, does it go anywhere else, like down to your neck or to your yes, shoulder? Uh, yes, be behind, behind the, my eye, doctor, in the same behind side. Your... And uh, anything that make it worse, like coughing, sneezing? No. Anything that make it better? I didn't. I, I, I didn't try anything, but I usually I have this headache, similar headache, and I'm, I'm taking painkillers for him. So I tried painkillers, but today really it not helped me well like before. Was it the same headache you have, or it was different from the previous one? Actually, doctor, uh, really I have migraine. I have let 
uh, about to get three to four attack per month and mm -hmm. uh, sometimes need to take medication uh, but usually uh, this head the headache I have before less than this in the severity and uh, did you lose your consciousness no any problem with your vision at that time no problem in vision, doctor, but usually before to develop this headache, actually, usually, I have the sparkling light in front of my eyes. Any loss of vision or any, any, problem, any problem like black no, no. blurring? No. No, doctor, no. How is your mood? And my mood? Is, it's okay, doctor. I am very happy. I am preparing for my sister wedding day. Did you fall down? Dr. Tanzid, your sound not clear well, please. Did you ever fall down? No, no. And, uh, uh, any uh, sh shaking of your hands? No, doctor. And uh, any shaking, uh, any numbness and tingling in the hands? No, doctor. Any difficulty in speech? No. Any difficulty in swallowing? No. Any uh, numbness and tingling in the legs? No, doctor. Any difficulty in walking? Uh, only this for a few minutes and then uh, become okay. Any problem in controlling the water works or bowel works? No. Did you feel like you walking on the uh, on the cotton? No. Right. Uh, Mrs. Susan, do you have any high body temperatures? Before? No. Yeah. And now? No. Any uh, tiredness? No. Any fatigue? No. Uh, any loss of weight? No. Any rash on your body? No, doctor. Any lumps and bumps? No, doctor. Uh, any excessive sweating? No. What is what about your appetite? It's good, doctor. Right. Uh, Mrs. Susan, uh, do you feel any uh, like racing of the heart? No, doctor. And uh, any cough? No. Any joint pains? No. Any uh, uh, preference to any specific weather, like hot or cold? No, doctor. Any uh, loose stools or hard stools? No. Any any blood in the stools? No. Any uh, problem with the water works, like any uh, pain when passing water works or any, no, doctor. anything like that? No. Any problem with your, any body aches, any muscle problem? No. Any, uh, okay, any pain in your tummy? No, doctor. Uh, right. Uh, Mrs. Uh, uh, Susan, any, uh, you have any other medical condition I should know about? Only, doctor, I have this migraine. Since how long you have this migraine? Really, doctor, since long time, more than three, four years, I have this migraine. I'm suffering from this headache. And um, do you seek any medical advice for it? Yes, doctor. My GP, he told me because you have no more attack per month, so you can take only these painkillers when you need. Right. And uh, uh, any uh, disease like any heart problem or any uh, kidney problem running in the family? No, doctor. Any history of uh, sudden death in the family? No, doctor. Only my mother has a stroke when she was 55 years and she's now on warfarin. Right. And uh, are you allergic to anything? Yeah. Are you allergic to anything? No, no. Not allergic. Uh, are you taking any other medicine apart from the painkillers? Only doctor, I'm taking ibuprofen. This is sometimes, and sometimes I need to take other medication when the attack not uh, controlled well with this ibuprofen. So I'm taking drug called uh, somatriptan. Right. Um, can I uh, can I know how much somatriptan you take? One hundred milligram, doctor. Sometimes uh, mm -hmm. I need it one two times only per month, not not more, much. Right. And uh, uh, any other counter medicine? No. Only this medication. Uh, well, it may seem bizarre, but I usually ask this question to all of my patients. It's very helpful to know. Uh, do yes, you take doctor. anything for recreation? Any party drugs or something? No. No. Okay. Have you ever been hospitalized? Yes. 
Have you ever been hospitalized? No. Uh, any surgery being done on you? No, doctor. Right. Uh, Mrs. Uh, Susan, if you don't mind, may I ask you some personal question? Yes, doctor, please. Uh, do you have a family? Yes, doctor, I'm living with my family. I mean, are you uh, married? No, not married. I have boyfriend, doctor, only. Right, right. Um, and uh, do you have any kids? No, no, I have no kids. Any uh, pre pregnancy loss in the past? No, doctor. Mm, and are you using any pills? Yes, doctor, I'm taking contraceptives. Mm, what about your monthly periods? Yes, it's good, doctor. Regular. Right, right. Um, Mrs. Susan, uh, what do you do for a living? I'm secretary, doctor. And uh, how this all, I mean, today, uh, you're busy with the preparation of weddings. So how are you affected uh, by all this? Must be quite, must be quite. Yes, I, 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 I so afraid because I afraid to uh, re, re get this, like this attack. So this maybe affect my job. I saw my mother, she has weakness and I afraid to, to develop like her. Uh, well, uh, I will, I'm here to help you out. So Mrs. Susan, uh, do you drive? I'm driving, yes, doctor. I have car. Your own car? Yes. Well, so Mr. Susan, now I will just uh, uh, summarize what you what we discussed. Yes. Uh, you told me that uh, today, uh, while you were at hairdresser, you got weakness in your left arm, but it was uh, it resolved uh, uh, within an hour, and yes. uh, during that time you felt head and you were feeling headache. Yeah. And uh, you usually have migraine, but this headache yes. was a bit different. It yes. was going down to your neck. You yes. feel weakness in your leg also. Yes, doctor. Yes. And uh, uh, you are uh, uh, t uh, taking um, uh, mag medicine for migraine. Yes. And uh, sometimes uh, you take some Egyptan and you are driving. Yeah. And uh, you don't have any family, considerable family history of sudden death or any uh, chronic no, condition or anything in the yes. past. So, Mr. Susan, do I miss anything important or do you want something to add in my from this on this? I think nothing, Doctor. Well, uh, so Mr. Susan, do you have any concern for me to answer? Yes, Doctor. Do I have serious disease, please, Doctor? Tell me. Uh, well, Mrs. Susan, after listening to your complaints, uh, I need to examine you and we need to uh, do certain tests and maybe certain scans. Uh, but at the moment, uh, uh, I am really uh, afraid that uh, it can be something very serious like uh, mini stroke yes. and uh, uh, we need to admit admit you and uh, uh, we need so cannot to... go ca cannot go home doctor because I, I told you tomorrow my sister wedding day well i understand that uh, uh, you are busy in the family but your health is also very important for us uh, it will be wiser to stay in the hospital till we fix this problem Oh my God. And I will suggest to stop driving and uh, maybe we need to um, choose another method of contraception for you. Yes. Uh, for that, I will refer you to the woman doctor and uh, um, they, they, he, she can help you there in this regard. So, doctor, uh, my mother also has a stroke. So, is there any possibility to get similar symptoms and, uh, and become like my mother? She has weakness. Well, Mrs. Susan, stroke, uh, there are certain conditions. Uh, uh, stroke usually doesn't run in the family, but there are certain conditions which can result in stroke. And uh, we need to uh, do certain scans and certain tests. Uh, yeah. And uh, then we'll be able to answer you uh, right. I will share, doctor. Thank you very much. Uh, do you have any other concern, Mrs. Susan? No, doctor, no. Uh, well, thank you very much, Mrs. Susan. Thank you, Doctor. Thank you, Doctor Tanzim. Finish time. Time, time finished? Yes. On time, Doctor Tanzim. Thank you, sir. Doctor uh, Tanzim, you are today better than before. Really? Really? Thank you very really, much. Really? It's clear. Uh, there is uh -huh. a significant difference from the first day when you take history also. His patient. Uh, uh, so what's your diagnosis, Doctor uh, Tanzim, here? Uh, Sir, most likely this lady, uh, she had uh, vertebral artery uh, dissection, uh, which was giving Why? symptoms. Why vertebral artery dissection? 
of the symptoms because of the diet you that this lady has a vertebral artery dissection. Or she can have a, this acephalic migraine attack of. Why acephalic migraine? She has headache. Usually, uh, acephalic migraine, this inpatient mm -hmm. has no headache, only uh, aura symptoms. But this patient yes. has headache. Transit ischemic attack. What's called this uh, type of migraine that come with weakness? Really, I'm forgetting its name, Doctor. Okay, it is... com com we can we can call it. You have with two types of migraine that can associate with headache. Either hemiplegic migraine that usually this is hereditary disease can present with aura as hemiplegia, or complicated mm -hmm. migraine. Complicated migraine. Patient has oh, already okay. had migraine. But because other uh -huh. causes can call, uh, develop this weakness. Uh, so, uh, and the other possibility, the other differential diagnosis, other than migraine or complicated migraine or dissection, what you put in your mind? I had mostly these two. You, may, you mentioned. But you, I you had mentioned. multiple sclerosis also with my DD. No, no, multiple sclerosis will not cause weakness for five minutes only. As we know that multiple sclerosis will cause weakness should last at least for 24 hours. To mention that this right. weakness due to multiple sclerosis, the attack should be last at least 24 hours. Right. So here the, mostly, uh, the, yeah. mostly I had two differentials, this uh, hemiplegic migraine and yeah. this transit ischemic attack, secondary to any uh, primary or secondary uh, Antiphospholipid syndrome or like this, I was thinking. Yeah, yeah. You, mean, you mean TIA, yeah. you mean TIA, yeah. but we should look what the cause of the TIA. Yeah. So the differential mm -hmm. diagnosis here, yes, you are right, complicated migraine or hemiplegic migraine, and TIA, it's one possible of diagnosis. And yes. also carotid dissection or vertebral dissection, but I will tell you why not after that. So, second question, mm -hmm. uh, what are the causes of the stroke and TIA in young patient well, uh, it can be like in this lady, it can be antiphospholipid syndrome, which may be say primary or maybe yes. secondary to any connective tissue disorder, like systemic sclerosis or SLE, yes. Yes. or it can be due to some congenital heart anomalies. Uh, it can yeah, be due to infective endocarditis, atrial fibrillation, yes. some, yes. uh, mixed, uh, some, uh, some uh, like uh, Marfan syndrome or Ehlers-Danlos syndrome, pseudothenoma yes. elasticum, they can also present. Uh, and the, and uh, uh, APKD can also cause uh, stroke in young. Yeah, I need you, disease. I need from you and for the other candidate in examination. If they ask you these questions, what the cause of a stroke in young patient? To mention first cause, yeah, cardiac causes, yeah, yeah. heart yeah, causes, okay. first cause because okay. it is the most yeah. common. Okay, right, then right. we'll mention the other causes: antiphospholipid, vasculitis, hyperlipidemia, paradoxical embolism due to BFO or ASD. Yeah. Okay. okay. Uh, what the investigation you will do for this lady? Well, I will uh, do the complete blood count and uh, ESR and CRP to look into any inflammatory markers. And uh, I will also like to do the complete uh, lipid profile. Uh, okay. Then I would like to do ECG or maybe ECO depending upon the uh, diagnosis. And uh, I would also like to do abdominal ultrasound to see for uh, polycystic kidney disease. And also I would like to do the MRI, MRI for brain. MRI and MRI. MRI, yeah, okay, cool. Okay, so which more important to do for this lady? Echocardiography or carotid ultrasound? Eco echocardiography is more important more because important. she is young. She is young. I will mute uh, the all and then mute yourself, please. Okay, sir. Okay. Yes. So, uh, as we mentioned, that uh, echocardiography is more important in this lady because young yes. patient. So, atherosclerosis yes. cannot occur in this. Uh, uh, age group yes. okay what what are treatment what why what what are, uh, what are the treatment in this lady mm, because uh it's hemiplegic migraine uh, we cannot give uh propranol or somatriptan really i don't remember because yes yes, yes 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 continue continue very well very well 
<laughs> because it is contraindicated in uh, hemiplegic migraine, propranolol and somatriptan. So, what we, we can do catching channel blockers. Really, I don't remember, doctor. I'm sorry for that. Okay. Thank you very much, Dr. Tendrick. Thank you, sir. Why, Thank why, you. why, why, why uh, the examiners in, MR, in Royal College, they bring this case in examination, really? Why? It's rare, really. Hmm. In our practice, yeah. it's rare to see like this patient with migraine and develop hemiplegia. But why they bring this case? For two reasons. The first reason, because this patient taking somatriptan and oral contraceptive pill. And both should be stopped in this lady because if she continue to take it so she has high risk to develop ischemic stroke so and you should counsel patient about this issue so at the time it's contraindication for patient with migraine that they have motor aura or motor involvement okay and also contraceptive pill it's absolute contraindication in patient they have weakness, but it's not absolute contraindication in the patient has other type of aura, but in the patient has especially uh, combined contraceptive pills. The other thing you don't ask me about smoking, and this is very important because this lady smoke and you should counsel her about smoking also because high risk. Uh, alcohol, alcohol I forget also. Yeah, alcohol. you are right also, alcohol. And uh, you, you ask me only about illicit drug. Uh, uh, the other issue I will discuss with you in this uh, case, uh, you are here, you take neurological case. So you should ask, yani, when you take approach patient with ne neurological symptoms, you should take full neurological history. You should not forget anything because anything can sometimes uh, change the diagnosis, really. So what are full neurological symptoms? Like we, all, all of us know, cardiac symptoms, chest symptoms, thyroid symptoms, but really not all take full neurological symptoms. So I will mention neurological symptoms that should be asked in any patient came with neurological presentation or neurological complaint. Headache, this is, come on. Neck pain and the stiffness. You don't ask me about neck pain. You should ask me in this case about neck pain because this is the clue of dissection, carotid dissection or vertebral dissection. Deviation of the face, or important. Numbness or pain in the face. So start with the face. Any deviation, any numbness or pain in the face. Then go to the vision. Loss of vision, double vision. Then go to the limb. Limb weakness, numbness or loss of sensation. Pins and needle sensation in the limbs. Speech, ask about speech, you ask me. Gait, any problem in the gait. Difficulty of swallowing. Vertigo, you don't ask me about vertigo. Most of candidates forget to ask about vertigo. Vertigo, most important sign in the patient has posterior circulation lesion. You should ask about memory, drowsiness, confusion, because there are some diseases and the patient comes with you, has abnormality in the gait, difficulty to walk. And if you forget to ask him about memory, you will not uh, get the diagnosis of normal pressure hydrocephalus. True, it's right. So, also you should ask me about tremor. You ask me seizure. You should ask me about seizure. Uh, you should ask me about also dysphonia. Any change in the pitch of the voice and also sphincter, either urinary or uh, uh, back passage. Uh, why this case is not carotid dissection? So in this case, always they bring it like the scenario. Since well, like, since more than ten years, they bring this case many times in the examination and always they mentioned that the patient was in her dressers. Why it is not, and most candidates mentioned the diagnosis of carotid dissection or vertebral dissection. Usually carotid dissection or vertebral dissection, first of all, will cause pain in the neck, okay? Second thing important, usually carotid dissection or vertebral dissection, usually, I told usually, not always, will cause not will not cause transient symptoms will cause symptoms will last for long time not only five or 15 minutes like this patient but sometimes can cause symptoms of uh, stroke of TIA uh, the other thing if we compare carotid dissection usually carotid dissection will cause Horner syndrome most of patients with carotid dissection will have Horner so the symptoms of Horner will be, will have 
ptosis in, when you ask the patient. Uh, and vertebral dissection, you will see symptoms of posterior circulation. Here, this patient has no symptoms of posterior circulation like uh, dysphagia or dysphonia or uh, vertigo. Okay? So this is the important thing. Uh, now, what are differential diagnoses? If we suppose that this patient, young patient, come to you with uh, TIA or with ischemic stroke and has no migraine, so differential diagnosis in, uh, of stroke in a young patient, the most common, most common, most common is heart disease. So you should take full system, you should do full systemic review of cardiovascular system. Everything you should ask, okay? And you should ask also about any previous heart disease, including rheumatic fever. You should mention it for patient because anyone affected with this disease will know that I have this disease when I was a child. I'm, I, I, I was going to cardiologist many times. So if you mention for patient, when you were a child, do you have any heart disease, what's called rheumatic fever? So you should mention by name. And also you should ask about family history of heart disease and any sudden death in the family because heart disease. The second differential diagnosis in young patient after heart disease, as we mentioned, dissection. So we should look for Horner syndrome. We should ask about Horner symptoms if in station two, that the patient has ptosis. Neck pain, very important, neck pain. Also, brain stem symptoms, brain stem symptoms, and also you can ask about any history of trauma, even minimal trauma. Antiphospholipid antibody syndrome, so you should ask about if she has any previous miscarriage or abortions. And also you should ask about any clot, either in legs or lungs or other parts of the body. Vasculitis. So here you should ask about full rheumatological symptoms and also constitutional symptoms. Very important here. Patient disease. Patient disease is common in uh, Middle East area. And we should ask about ulcers, any painful mouth or genital ulcers and also symptoms of uvitis and you should ask patient about a blood, a blood disorder any blood disorder that you have or any family uh, any member of your family have a blood disorder maybe the, the patient has family history of blood disorders and also she inherited this disorder this is the approach of strong uh, of uh, stroke in young patient anyone have any question please If no, uh, if no questions, we can uh, shift to the second cause, uh, second case, sorry. Uh, no, 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 please, please, please tell us the management. Please tell us the management of hemiplegic migraine, please. Uh, I, I, I cannot hear you, Dr. Tanzil. Please, please tell us the management about of hemiplegic yeah, migraine. Ma ma management, this patient need admission in the hospital because we to rule out TIA. Actually, a management of uh, hemiplegic migraine as we mentioned now, the patient should stop uh, medication. Uh, somatriptan should not, you, you should counsel here about uh, somatriptan and also you should counsel here about oral contraceptive pill. Hello. Four, if you do full investigation for this patient, MRI, MRA, echocardiography, everything are normal. So here we should, in our mind, hemiplegic migraine. For hemiplegic migraine here, discuss the patient the, the risk and benefits of antiplatelets because really some there's no uh, guidelines about uh, 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 to give antiplatelet in the patient with the situation but really uh, uh, it's controversial so some doctors give uh, antiplatelet and the others not giving so here you can uh, counsel the patient about uh, benefit and the, uh, the risk of antiplatelet Hello. if the patient has the recurrent attack of hemiplegic migraine so you can manage here as any patient with recurrent attack of migraine with the prophylaxis treatment with like antiepileptic topiramate or depakine we should avoid the uh, depakine in this lady uh, topiramate or antidepressant uh, tricyclic antidepressants or uh, this medication can be given like like you uh, any uh, type of migraine okay 
okay, second okay, question, I... please. Second question. Uh, boss, uh, regarding the uh, vertigo, how we will ask about vertigo? Yeah, it's easy. Uh, you can ask patient, do you feel spinning or do you feel uh, that uh, rotation? Do you feel spinning? Do you feel dizzy? Like this question. Spinning, okay. spinning, this is the, the, can be used. Feeling of spinning or rotation or like this. We can go to the other case. Okay. 